I wanted to share with you guys the new CADCO hot plate that I'm using. I used to be using, I was using these like Cuisine Art or whatever, 30 something dollar hot plates and I would kind of strip them and drill extra holes in them to vent. I had one for two years, it worked fine, then the other day it popped on me finally, the element failed. So I said, what the heck, I've already proven the concept of the PID, kind of when I first funded it all, I didn't want to go spend, you know, $130 on a, on a hot plate, but now that I know that it works and it's a good concept, um, I went out and bought a good CAD code, it's about $120, I'll put the link below in the description, uh, if you can support the channel, buy it through using my affiliate links. And uh, this thing so far it's holding up pretty good. It can hold a lot of weight. It doesn't need additional cooling fins. It has it has a lot of cooling vents already in it. And uh, it runs off the PID fine. I haven't had any issues with it. So, and once again, I have a video on how to build this and how to program it. You could also just go ahead and buy a, um, a plug and play one from Auburn's, uh, it's Auburn Instruments, A-U-B-E-R-I-N-S dot com and just buy a plug and play. Uh, they're about $250 or you can make one for about 120. It's very easy to rig up. So yeah, right now I have it with the 32 or 23 quart Presto. I had to drill it out, which I have a video on how, which is 230 degrees. Uh, I have a video on how to drill that out and uh, I have this adjustable. Um, right now it's getting up to pressure. I have uh, about 30 pounds of spawn in there. It's like six, five bags in there so and uh, I'm just gonna run it for 200 minutes at uh, at 240 Fahrenheit so I wanted to follow up as well on on the I think I showed that you guys using the pouring the pouring things and I said hey take take some either hot agar or uh, a cup so let me just wash my hand really quick I'm about to touch these with some isopropyl and I use that up up the uh, squirt bottle but uh what i do is when the when you're done pouring them you can take one of these which pressure cooked along with the agar that was in the the uh pitchers the autoclavable pitchers and i do this for the next round for next time I, when i need to use agar i'll have these three i can just pop them open they're pretty much canned and but what i do is i put them on top of the stack and, and these stay hot a lot longer and what happens is a slight temper differential between all these plates between the tops and the bottoms means that you get clear clear plates pretty much all the way through the stack very minimal the worst one with condensate is probably the top one because the sides are not getting the heat but it really works out great and it keeps the plates nice and crystal clear on top it makes the the moisture condensate on the media and not on the lids so these are we just did the class I, I just finished up the first day of of class with uh three students and um it's actually two students and and and, and, and uh, andre the next owner of myers mushrooms el paso and so we poured these plates i showed them how to do that we cooked the agar from scratch so if you're interested in learning how to do all the techniques i have a two-day cultivation course um, go ahead and message me or email me if you have any questions about it and I should be having one in the coming months hopefully we'll see with the whole transition of Myers Mushrooms changing locations but yeah that little trick works out pretty good for keeping the, the condensate off the lids it also saves up table space because the other way that people do it is they'll take the, the plate and they'll go like this and it exposes the, the agar to the flow hood but then you have to have room for, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 plates. And I don't have that much counter space or at least raised up counter space uh, to work on. And they get in the way. So, yeah, that's the way that I do it. And it works out pretty well. Hope you like this video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my other videos on mushroom cultivation and backyard farming. And take it easy. Keep on mushroom.